In this video, we're going to focus on the XSCALE ID and the YSCALE ID in the annotation plugin for the for ChartJS. And this currently doesn't work as I expected. So basically, if you would have the data structures, you probably would have a different scale value or different scale name. And that's why you should implement this. However, this doesn't work. So basically, you could skip this in essence. However, this is what I suspect the moment you're going to use data structures or how this eventually will work. So what we're going to do is basically this here. Uh, what we want to do here is to create our data structure here. And data structure is basically creating our own X and Y scale. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to just comment out this and we're going to comment out that one. And basically what we're going to do here very quickly is the item here. So we're going to create here a new data. And then this data here will consist of the following. We're going to put in brackets. And then here between, we're going to put in the value. So we say here, uh, for the braces. And then in here, let's say we have weeks. And in here, the weeks. And this will be eventually our X scale. And data structures are very useful for your chart, by the way. So I highly recommend you to check that out as well. And I have videos about that as well. So let's say your weeks, comma. And then we can here say the temperature. That we want to have the temperature being shown and this is in a specific item we can say c20 and comma fahrenheit and i'm not even sure how fahrenheit is being calculated it is completely different so i'm going to just say here uh let's say 70. i'm not sure if that is correct so i'm just putting up values here so imagine we have this we have different type of temperatures that we we measure and then we're going to duplicate this seven more times so we have for every single week we're going to have the average temperature here there we are and then this here i'm just going to put this up here increase it by one and this here i will increase this by three and then oh that should be nine the other one is six etc etc and here's 80 and then we have here 88 all right so if I save this now what happened of course is it will break the structure it doesn't recognize now currently the new X and Y values so what we're going to do here quickly is to parse them in here so I'm going to create here in the options and then here we're going to say parsing and parsing basically mean or parse means to make something readable for so basically we're making this readable for our JavaScript here and then we will say your X axis key and then we put it here, what would be the x-axis? In this case, the weeks will be related to the x-axis. And here, the y will be, if you want the c or the f value, depending on if you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. So we're going to grab Celsius in our case for the y value, but for the x, it's the weeks. So we say here, x-axis weeks, then comma. And then we, I'll just copy this one and say here, y-axis. And then here, to grab this, we need to go into temp, and then we grab the c. So temp.c, all right, so if I save this now, you will see now it will work nicely, or I expect it to work nicely, but somehow it gives an error. So unexpected token, and number 61, or 64. Well, probably here we need a comma, I guess. Maybe that's the reason why. Should have a comma here, and here we should have also multiple commas. Make sure you have these commas here. Last one, no need for a comma. Refresh, there you are. So now this works. You can see here it immediately responds correctly. And we have here the weekly sales or what the values are. And am I correct that that matches here? Number 20. We grab this, 21. There you are. You can see the temperature here. So if I change this now into Fahrenheit here, save that, refresh. And there we are. We get now different temperatures of 88 at the end and 70 at the starting point. And we have here this item here. So what I was suspecting, and this is basically what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't do it. So that's why I, I said you could skip this one basically because it will not work how you will expect. So basically here's the X scale, and this is what it says here. If you scroll down here in the options here, the X scale ID equals string, basically will, the default is the X value, all right? So for some reason it recognizes it's become an X value, but I was expecting the following here. If you have the data structure here, then we need to, grab here the weeks and the weeks is basically this one here oh, without the small uh, make sure that this is all small letters identical here this is what I suspect and the same here as well if I do this one here we grab here let's say temp Fahrenheit 
or temp c doesn't matter which one you want to take and we make this the y scale so indicating that we want this specific item because this is basically created a new object so if i save this now go back here and refresh you see it just doesn't respond at all all right so this is and maybe we can hide this as well the scales here there you are you don't see anything at all so basically here i would not know exactly it doesn't indicate really clearly what it is or maybe it understands already that this is already an x value or this one here because of this it recognizes that this is the x value because we assign the axis the x axis key here for this so in that case if that would be it then this here basically is obsolete in my sincere opinion but of course who knows all right so if i put this back on 50 you will see here it will work nicely we'll match it there we are so everything works fine here so that's basically it for now so i i suspect eventually there will be one maybe if there would be different values as well in there but that's for now i cannot say i cannot find it in the documentation but i suspect that they probably will have more explanation on this in the future